What's going on guys? So we're about 10 days away from the release of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So I figured it'd be a good time to go ahead and knock out a quick review on the two pack, Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've had this two pack for probably over a month, maybe even longer. I don't know. I got it pretty much as soon as it came out. Uh, I saw it on Target.com. That's where I was able to get it from. During that time, it wasn't even available in stores, and I was, I thought they were going to sell out online. I think what happened in this case is because the movie was kind of far away when their figures first came out. A lot of people weren't really looking for them. I figured the closer we got to Christmas, the more these would be in demand. One thing that could be affecting the sales on these figures also is that they're essentially repaints. There's already a Miles Morales figure out there, as well as a Spider Gwen figure, so some people may just not be interested in it. I do have the other Miles Morales. I'll pull him out in a minute to do a comparison. So let's start out with Miles Morales. Now, one thing that I will say that I like about the new figure here is the sculpt of the head. The skin tone definitely looks a lot better. His story is pretty well known at this point, but he is half African American and half Puerto Rican. So having a lighter skin tone on this figure looks a lot better in my opinion, looks more accurate to the comic book. Now the big difference on this figure is this is more of a Miles Morales kind of homemade suit. As you can see the spray paint detail on the chest there, as well as on the feet, on the back of the figure. It's a cool figure, I like it. Let me go ahead and grab the other Miles Morales now so you can kind of see the difference between the two. Alright, so here we are with both versions of Miles Morales. And as you can see the one on the left is more accurate to the comic book I believe. Um, he has web lines around his fingertips as opposed to the Into the Spider-Verse version. As you can see, he has web lines on the torso. The spider's different. He also has the all black feet, all black legs as opposed to the Into the Spider-Verse version. The extra head that comes with Miles is all black so you don't get the, the red webbing like you do on the first version of Miles that we have over there. Now, is it a big enough change for you to want this figure? I would say yes. I mean, I think the costumes are different enough to warrant making the purchase. If you're a, if you're a fan of Miles Morales, obviously. If you don't like him, then don't buy it. You know, it's starting to sound like EA over here, but. So, that's my review for Miles Morales. So let's move on to Spider-Gwen. All right, so here we have Spider-Gwen in all her glory, looking good. So she has the ballerina slippers on, which like I said, is one of the differences I know between the between this figure and the original one. She has pretty good articulation, still no double jointed elbows, but I'm still able to get her in most of the poses that I want. Typically, I just have her standing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the head swap now with her with the hood down and her regular head on. All right, so here is Spider-Gwen with the Gwen Stacy head sculpt. And this is the first time that I've even taken this head sculpt out of the box. And the reason being is because in the film, she doesn't wear her hair like this. In the film, I believe she has more of a mohawk or like kind of shaved hair on the side. So, this doesn't appear to be film accurate, although it's maybe at some point in the film she decides to cut her hair. I, I don't know. I doubt it. I think they just uh, kind of went with what they had in this case. So it'll be interesting to see if in the future we get a more accurate head sculpt for Spider-Gwen. And I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but it is a Target exclusive. And as of right now, they still have it. So anyways, hopefully that gave you enough information to decide if you want to make this purchase or not. Me personally, I think it's worth it even if you have another Spider-Gwen or another Miles Morales figure. This is more specific to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and I think we need to support all of these types of projects to make sure that they keep them coming. 
but personally I'm looking forward to seeing it in theaters and I'll definitely be there on the opening night. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll see you next time.